Guns are off the streets of Cincinnati tonight thanks to a buyback program put together by community and faith-based leaders. The sellers reward a $100 gift card and thanks from residents of a city trying to keep the streets safer. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live in East Price Hill where the buyback was deemed a success. Tom? Well, Carolyn, that it was. There was plenty of activity at this house behind me at West Liberty and Iliff Avenues earlier today. It's owned by Block Ministries, but it was used by Project Nehemiah for this buyback. Now, with three murders over the weekend, organizers say this is the kind of thing that can't be done often enough. Donald Thrower drove from Madisonville to East Price Hill Monday to get rid of a gun he found near a dumpster. His reward for doing the right thing was a $100 gift card. If I threw it in the garbage, maybe somebody would have found it and used it or something, so I figured this is a good way to dispose of it. A steady stream of people brought weapons in over a two-hour period, and they came from all corners of the community. We got grandparents, we got people who found guns in homes, abandoned homes, and they're just bringing them in. We have parents who are getting them out of the house because of the children are growing up. So it's just, and we got people off the street who've had them, uh, young men that have come in and said they want to turn them in for the, good, for the right reasons. When it was all over, this is what had been turned in. Rifles, sawed-off shotguns, pistols, revolvers, an arsenal that might have gotten into the wrong hands. That's what prompted Wayne Fidelli to come in. There's too many guns out that can be stolen or taken from people's homes and used for crimes. And uh, to get more and more of them off the street is a good idea. While doing the right thing was a motivation for some, the money was a key lure as well, especially for one elderly gentleman. He had eye problems. He had no glasses. Literally needed money. And so he said, I heard this story. I don't need the gun. I need eyeglasses. I can't afford it. This Walmart gift certificate gets me a pair of glasses. But the fact that the first buyout was being held on the Martin Luther King Jr. national holiday wasn't lost on organizers of the event or participants like Donald Thrower. He was all about peace. And, and that's what we're trying to get the community to realize that we don't need to be killing and shooting each other. We need to start loving one another, like the good book said. Now, Carol, this is the first of four buyback programs planned for this year. The next one in April, the site hasn't been determined quite yet. Coming up at 6, you might wonder what East Price Hill residents and neighborhood organizers think about this buyback right at their doorstep. Well, I'll have that story 